So how's the big comeback? How's it feel? Uh, it's good. It's not big, I wouldn't say. You know, I'm selling another car and I got a lot of work to go. Um, it's been a long time. I'm just happy to be back, though. Was, you know. it, oh, go ahead. was it important for you to really come in there and get that early finish? Oh, I think I had to win. But I wasn't, I didn't really, wasn't worried too about how it happened. At the end of the day, wins matter. Um, I'm an exciting fighter naturally because I like the fight aspect of the sport. Um, so I wasn't too concerned about it, you know, so. It's been about two years since you've been in the UFC. What had you been doing in that time, in the elapsed period of time? Because I know you had one fight, but it had been quite a while in between the time that you fought into coming back. Um, dealing with a lot of promoters. Lots, like two hours a day on the phone. It was miserable. <laughs> Seriously, that's what most of my time was spent, yeah. It's a big night for your uh, fight team here, AKA. You're curious to see how things turn out with Kane. Are you going to be watching very oh, closely? Yeah, be in the locker room, and uh, I definitely expect he's going to win. You know, uh, it's the heavyweight division, though. Anything can happen. Don't misinterpret my uh, perspective, but uh, overall, he's the better fighter, you know, um, and I think in almost every aspect. So if he goes out and does his job, he should definitely come victorious. So what did you do differently in, in AKA? Because that's a great camp for heavyweights. You got two really phenomenal training partners in Cormier and Kane. It's not just those guys, though. Sorry, it's uh, you know the big thing is guys show up there. They show up every day. Uh, you've been around other camps, you know, especially for the heavyweight division. It's sparse to begin with. It's hard to find good solid training partners um, if you want to push yourself. I can get guy bodies in the gym, but I'm not going to get guys that are going to push me. And the biggest difference there is those guys show up and they work hard. But sorry, keep going, man. My bad. No, no, no. That was my question. You got That's it. it. You got another more? I'll, I'll think I'm going to give you an extra one, Connor. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, you came into this fight, and it was great to see you back in there, and you really made a phenomenal goal of it. When he took you down for the first time, what was going through your head? I was shocked. I was a little too relaxed. He locked his hands. I go, oh, he's going to put me on the mat. Damn. Um, but I was like, oh, I'll get back up. I wasn't too worried about the grappling aspect, so I tried to stay a little relaxed. Um, I was too busy, caught up in remembering how it feels to be in a fight. Like when he was hitting me in the face, I was like, oh yeah, that's what it feels like. Like I wasn't worried about like, oh, he's hitting me in the face. I was like, oh, I better move, that might add up. Like eventually, after, after I took into account, I was like, oh, this is what it feels like, I remember that feeling. Because um, I was caught up in wanting to feel a fight, you know, you miss it. Um, so I wasn't too concerned, but I was like, once he, he hit me with one that kind of like, you know how you get hit hard enough where it kind of freezes you for a second, your body? I was like, oh, I gotta pop up. And I, I went to work and got back on my feet, but. Sorry, rambling. This guy. No, next guy. Nothing. I, don't, I talk a lot, guys. You can get questions out of me. How about DC? What did you think of him yesterday in the weigh-in show? And what do you think his future is here in the UFC? I think it's great. Uh, he can do what he wants to do. You know, he's uh, experienced. He's athletic. He's got a lot of talent. Uh, he can he can compete in the heavyweight division and the 205 division, so I think that's super exciting for him. I think if Kane wins, he might drop. I have no idea. I'm just guesstimating because nobody wants to fight their teammate. That's a terrible, terrible thing to go through. And uh, he's definitely a team player, and he really cares about Kane. So I think once Kane wins tonight, I'm going to say he might drop. But he can compete in the heavyweight division. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, he's one of those guys. He's a competitor. I've learned a lot from him, and uh, I definitely like I liked having him in my corner. I like being around him. Positive person, smart guy, and i got a lot I can learn from him. How about the call-up for this fight? I know you came in from Matt Mitrione, that's who originally Phil was supposed to face. So how did the call go about, and what was it like for you to get that call from the UFC? Uh, it was huge. I was getting ready to sign a kickboxing contract the next day and start traveling to uh, Thailand and uh, Holland, like like three months there, three months back and forth in the U.S. And uh, so, you know, it gave me a chance of doing what I love. I love MMA. I like kickboxing. So it was a, it was a huge saving grace for me. Literally, it was the day before, you know. I got that phone call. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going back. I don't, that's what I want to do. Do you think this knockout win actually kind of cements that perhaps maybe your loss that you had when you left the, the last loss that you had here in the UFC was a fluke? I mean, clearly I was winning the fight. I was clearly the more skilled fighter uh, in all aspects. The big thing, I went to that, I think I handicapped myself. I had an injury and I let it play too much into the fight where all I was willing to do was box and uh, I should have went in there and fought him. Um, I think if I would have done that, I definitely would have had a different outcome. I let him hang around too long. It's a heavyweight division, four ounce gloves, right hand. It's a story that's going to happen to every heavyweight at some point. So it sucks, but uh, it's a sport. I know I'm the better fighter, and um, at some point I'll probably get that back. So we'll see. When you first got here, you didn't seem overly excited about your knockout. Right? Were you not happy with your performance? Tonight? Yeah. Um, no, yes and no. I think like I was, I was in a good spot, but I was too busy trying to remember what it feels like to fight. I wasn't as focused as I should have been. I wasn't, so I didn't, and in turn, I didn't relax as much. Um, you know, I won. That's what I wanted to do. I'm happy. I think it was exciting. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. You're I know what it felt sure like. Whoa, and Rogan on, on the yeah. commentary. I know what it felt yeah. like, and it didn't feel like I was doing what I can normally am capable of doing. And like I said, when he was belting me in the face when I was on the cage, I was just kind of like, damn, that's what it feels like. I wasn't worried about, you know, I wasn't in the right, probably, perspective and mindset for, if that was a high-level guy, I could have been in a lot of trouble. You know, with a guy with some serious power. I'm not saying he doesn't have power. He hit me, hit me hard. 
Um, but uh, you know, you just know you never know. And that he, we could go back in that same spot with the same guy, and he could hit me there, and it may be over. We just don't know. Small gloves. So uh, I think I think that's what bothers me. But uh, other than that, I haven't seen the fight, so I don't know. We good? You got nothing? You're good. All right. Thank you guys.